Hello everyone. Hey, I've returned. Yeah, we had that problem where YouTube was streaming twice, and, and just before that, they were, uh, <laughs> they made my thing unlisted. Why would you make a video unlisted if you're trying to live stream this again? I don't understand, YouTube. And it looks like I'm not streaming twice now, which is good. <laughs> this is good. This is the way things should be. Hey, am I actually live? <laughs> am I actually live? Because I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping I am. Okay. Yes. I just want to put something in chat so I know this is the difference between... Hey, it's Bubble Bunny and Scared Bunny. Let's put them together. Good. Best friends now. Okay. Well... Come back. All right. So we now continue from where we left off. And if you haven't seen the other video, well, you might want to if you want to keep caught up. But otherwise, yeah. We're on our way to unlocking an insanely powerful weapon. Okay, we have another tournament we can join. We totally want to join it. Um, let's do that. Place a bet. Fight in the next round. Hey, we're here. And we are incredibly fast. <laughs> Forgot how fast we are. Okay. Should probably just take one of these horses. If people would stop killing them. Never mind, we don't need to take the horse. We're fine. Yes. So apparently, in the latest version of this mod, the new, like, he's not even the owner of it. I guess the guy that made the mod originally refused to want to, like, keep updating it for one reason or another. Or maybe couldn't keep updating it. Uh, so he handed it over to another modder, and the other guy's been throwing a hissy fit. He's been nerfing a lot of things, and uh, he also took out tournaments. Yeah. For no reason, he removed tournaments from this mod. Kind of annoying, if you ask me. I mean, people love the tournaments. I love the tournaments. The tournaments aren't OP. Like, some of these NPCs are incredibly strong. You fight some really high-level characters on occasion in the tournaments. And they said, yeah, it'd be a great idea. I just realized I was yellow. Here we go. <laughs> Duh. Um, you fight some incredibly powerful characters throughout your journeys, and, uh, they can all end up here. Yeah. But, uh, I guess they just didn't like the fact that people were getting a lot of money. Maybe they- maybe the guy that was working on the mod sucks at the game. Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> it's like, I don't understand where people are getting all this money from. It's like, oh, it must be the tournaments. Well, I suck at tournaments, so I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> Why would you take out tournaments? There's nothing wrong with the tournaments. Okay, yeah, this guy's gonna be a problem here. I gotta remember that I'm using a lance. God, that's so easy to counter! Yeah, let's take out tournaments because clearly, you know, lancers are strong. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. I hate the lance. I hate the lance. There we go. I'm hoping in uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord. If you, like, break a lance or a spear, you can still use the broken shaft. Spin it around like Donatello and just beat the crap out of people. Pretty cool. Hey, I hit you. Yay. Okay. I know I can not hold down the button to use the lance, but half the time they just bat you out of the way anyway, so there's no point in trying to auto-hit. Also, the lance is finicky with auto-hit. It decides if you land the hit or not. It, it's weird. As opposed to manually doing it. I like to do it manually. Fight. We're okay, just one of you. Oh, no one else. Oh shit! Okay, you are a strong boy. You can tell by his speed. He's not very bright though. He is dead. It's Tormos. Okay, I have to remember you, Tormos. You're you're a bit of an asshole. <laughs> and this is actually he could have killed me in one hit. Like he can. If he gets enough speed. But thankfully, they're not very good with uh, lancers and 
arena. I say that as he knocks me out, right? You can't let them get too much distance on you. And they're not good because they always end up towards the wall. And <laughs> they don't know how to get out of the wall for some reason. That's not the mod. That's just that's just uh, Lancers in general. Oh, there's Dranton. I hate him. He's not particularly strong. I just don't like him. Every time, every time he's on a team with somebody, he will refuse to help you. And then when he's against you, he'll stay in the back, just like that uh, orc. And he'll just sit there and watch you die. He's a meanie. Nisha. Nisha. I should totally just start, you know, hitting up on her, but... <laughs> I, I, I personally, I like the red hair better. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is bad. And of course it drops to seven. Yep. But she's still, she's still okay with me. And maybe she has a father. Like, well, that's the thing, though. The other girl doesn't have a father, so if I start hitting her up, I don't have any opposition. But... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the dwarf is playing two, two parts of the field here. That's what's happening. He's got girls in both cities. It's bad. You can only marry one, though. You can only marry one. At least I think you can only marry one. I wonder if there's a, a bug somewhere. Um... Okay, so, yeah, we got a few things we could sell. We're gonna hang around till we can, you know, milk more money out of this place. Um, there's a tournament's going on, but... And... I could attempt to visit the lady if I wanted to right now. I could. I could totally do that. A crazed wizard is roaming around. He will nuke us on sight, but... There's always that chance we could kill him. And get some golems, maybe, possibly. Probably not. It's risky. I don't know if I want to deal with a wizard. You really don't have anything that's good for me, do you? I could sell to you this gold, but uh, I want to get the full price for the gold. I want the full price! Or more than the full price would be. Uh, who has boots that need replacing? 16, 21. Let's give you the better boots. Yeah. Let's sell these, uh, crap boots here. We'll hang out towards the morning and see if the, uh, thing is still going on. The tournament. Tournament is still going on, but it's nighttime. So it would kind of be annoying. Be annoying because you wouldn't be able to see anything, really. Some really greedy dwarves are looking for precious metals. That's great. Okay. You go ahead and you look for those metals. You're not going to find them. I'm just running around here. Okay. There we go. Let me save. I have a habit of saving a lot, but that's just me. <laughs> They're gonna start docking my reward because I've been uh, spending way too much time in this tournament. Oh, that was a knockout. Nice. Boom! Manus Dwarf Man is doing well. That guy did not let go. <laughs> Dude, chill out. <laughs> Look at him. He's just angry. His anger is the color of blood. <laughs> Why am I red team? I'm so mad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's fight in this next round here. Hey, you. There's three of you and three of us. Alright. Take you out, please. Yes. You like me for some reason. I think I recognize you. This guy tried killing me many times before. I knocked him out that time. Oh, shit. Sorry, I thought I was yellow team for a moment. Turns out I'm blue. <laughs> I'm not, like, memorizing the colors. 
and not memorizing the colors and just going in there being like, I trust my teammates to do what I trust them to do. And it's like, well, where the fuck are my teammates? I have no teammates this time. Hey there. You are... Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, they're all going for me. That's not fair. Oh, you. I knew it. Every time. He always switches aggro. This orc is an opportunist. Thank you, Boyar. You knocked out... Shift boy RD. Uh, you knocked out Potak. Now he's trying to kill me. Oh my god. Okay, he's taken out. Good. Knocked out by Bane of Dwarfman. Oh. 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 Stop. Please. 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 Can I catch you, please? I want to take out these uh, Lancers because they are a serious problem. How come Yellow Team has two two Lancers? Isn't that a little OP? That's a little OP because they could just flank you. There's Potak again. Really? You got a second wind? That's not fair. Whenever you need a second wind as a player, it never gives it to you. We are Red Team. Okay. And he's the last one standing. <gasps> That's not Potak. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. Attacks an asshole. <laughs> I swear, there's some sort of AI that controls each of the unique characters. What? Why can't I hit you? Are you cheating? Don't cheat. Only I can cheat. Oh my God. Kratos. Kratos. God damn it, Kratos. Am I fighting? You? You the only one? Okay. I love seeing those error codes. Man, that makes makes me happy. Makes me happy to see those error codes. I have no idea why I'm seeing the error codes, but I am seeing them. Something's not right in the matrix. Okay. Let's loop back. Hey there. I want to stab you. Cloak. I got you. I hit you. But you didn't like it. You're not gonna like this either. Never mind, you blocked it. <laughs> Hold on. I'll give you your present in a moment. Hey, motherfucker! Oh, that was cool looking, but didn't do anything for me. <laughs> okay, let's uh, switch around here. Oh, <laughs> oh, you thought I was gonna hit it sooner than that. <laughs> Liar! God, he has a lot of health. See, it doesn't help that half of them are really fast, so by the time you run to the edge of the arena... They just, they've already covered the distance. I think this mod maker should have made more, uh, like, large... Like, the original mod maker, not the new guy. New guys, no. Uh, you should have made new versions of the arena so that they could favor horses. Because this is really small, and they're all like this. Unless it's a custom map. It's tiny. Yay! We got 14,450 plus 200. Not bad at all. That's right, we have nothing else we can sell. Um, we're gonna go back to the feast. We're gonna shower this girl with affection. Uh, yes, I'd like to dedicate this to you again. She's starting to get bored of it, but it doesn't matter as long as her relations uh, go up. Then we uh, we do well. I'm gonna attempt to visit her. Visit her. Oh, what? <laughs> Uh, okay. A clandestine meeting so soon after last guy would be too dangerous. Uh, who is she uh, related to? That's what I want to know. Lady Nisha. I want to know who this is exactly. Nisha. Nisha. Our brother is Doru. We helped him out on the field of battle. Bro she has no father. <laughs> she has no father. This is great. <laughs> she literally has no father. Hold on. Who, who, who wonders what her father's name is? This is going to be strange. Because the last, the last girl we were recording, um, her father was some random, like, soldier. So who is hers? I'm going to laugh my ass off if it's Ferocious Bear. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a glitch too. I don't. I, I doubt a character's father can be ferocious bear, but I would die laughing. I think I'll just end the stream right there because I could never do anything funnier than that ever in my career on YouTube. Let's see what happens. Lanisha, how are you? Hello, Bane's. Oh God, the mouth. <laughs> Uh, do I dare ask her about her father? Oh, I can't. I, I, I want to know more about you, though. I, I can't. Um, let's let's find her brother, because we're already on good enough terms with him. I don't remember what he looks. There he is. Oops, sorry, I kicked him in the ass. <laughs> it's like, hey, brother-in-law. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> um, I should ask you something. What would it take? Uh, unfortunately, no one in my household is eligible to wed. Well, not your household, but your family members. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, task for me. Uh, considerable amount of money. Um, oh, wow. Wow, he's in debt. Oh. <gasps> This is good, though. He's a scummy character. Scummy characters, usually, it deals with money and murder. So all you have to do is is um, treat him... It's actually easier in this, in this diplomacy way. He wants me to do dirty jobs for him. So he doesn't want to pay back the money. All I have to do is pay it for him. Or find someone. Or kill them. You know, that's fine. Uh, I need to guarantee a man's silence. He shan't breathe a word. <laughs> Bane murders for love. This is what happens. Um, do not disappoint me. Go now. Wait for my word. I'll send you a message telling you when and where to catch the merchant. Dispose of him, and I shall reward you generously. We'll totally do this. We'll totally do this for this guy. To get on his good side, you know, we'll be fine. Um, I can't go back into the tournament. So we just got to wait for him. A local merchant. You have ten days. The question is, where is the merchant? He said he would tell me. See, the thing I don't like is that they don't exactly... Can I find out? Nope, don't, don't attack them, Jesus. <laughs> Your bloodlust! Uh, another problem is, though, uh, when I left the town, I noticed that time sped up considerably, so the merchant might have already left, which isn't cool. But he shouldn't have left? Shouldn't have left? I say that? Oh, shit. They're all leaving. Um, that's not good. I need to talk to him again. If I can, please. Boru. Where is Boru? You all look the same. Voldret. More Voldret. Druli. Um. Uh -oh. <laughs> um. Boyar Doru. Sorry, not Boru. Doru. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Have you seen him? This is where he lives? Is that why he hasn't left yet? Ooh, the tournament's still in town. We could totally uh, go in the tournament there. Sir? Sir? Where? Where is... You haven't showed me where he is! Oh, I hate quests like this. I know. Okay. Well, um, I need to actually do something here. I'm, I'm gonna actually cheat it, but I'm gonna cheat it in a way that you can see what I don't know is where the guy is. Mount and Blade Warband Cheats. So, I want to show you something that helps me out with quests like this, because I hate quests like this. I hate them. I hate them. Okay. AI fights for you. No, that's, I see all parties. I think it's control T. I think that's it. So we're gonna press control T. Hopefully it won't crash YouTube. <laughs> control T. Yes, there we go. Okay, 
So what this did was it shows me the entirety of the map. Now it should show me where certain parties are. The problem is they don't... That's ah, not them. See, I've never done this quest in particular, so I have no idea where the merchant will be. This is a nice little thing. It basically removes the fog of war. That's really what it is. And this can be super useful for quests like this. So I guess it's not truly cheating, it's more of a setting, but you have to enable it. It's kind of annoying. And I can't ask... Oh, there you are. Hey. Hey. He said to wait for his word. But the problem is... I don't know whether or not he's going to send word for me. Maybe I should go into town and look for the merchant? I mean, I, I'm not... Local merchant at Revenant. Nine days. So, it says at Revenant. So does that mean he's literally inside the town? Because if that's the case, yay. Hmm. You know what? We're going to take a look at this. Mountain Blade Warband. Uh, assassinate local local merchant steam community uh, automatically waiting in the town for a while and the text will appear oh see I never would have known that Hmm. Okay. Okay. So they don't really tell you that, and that's a problem. So I could be doing this all day, and I would not know. You know. So I just gotta wait in the town. That's all I gotta do. Just wait in the town. <laughs> what a quest. Waste gold. Sitting in town for a message that may not come. In fact, it says on the Steam forums that a lot of people had problems with this quest for this reason. Even if they knew what they were supposed to do, it never popped up. So, if it never pops up, he's going to hate me because I couldn't do his quest, which should be simple enough. That's not the message I was looking for. Uh, come on, please. Please, let me, let me do this. We just gotta sit here and wait for the best. Again, I'm doing this mostly for the relation points. That's, that's the main reason. There are a lot of people running around. A lot of stuff happening. This is all the stuff that you don't get to see normally. That is not the message I'm looking for. I'm hoping it doesn't bug. There's a big possibility it'll bug out. It is also not the message I was looking for. We have 66,000 gold. Good God. We are doing well for ourselves. We're going to have a merry band of dwarves sooner or later. Just you wait. Just you wait. Tons of dwarves. Angry. Greedy for gold. All that glitters. When is this message going to appear? <laughs> I hope this isn't like the greatest of all steam trolls. <laughs> I'm just gonna load. I don't wanna waste these many days. If there's no payout here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna load. God. That's why a lot of people's FPS drop. There we Nope. This is the other girl. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but the other girl has red hair. Uh, I feel like a jerk. <laughs> I'm not this way in reality, but it's like in the game, it's like if I can get if I can get the uh, the perfect bride. Red hair. Mm, awesome. Love it. Love it. 
I, mean, I actually prefer dark hair, but uh, I like red too. Because red, red is like shiny, and it, it kind of like you know, when you get light on the red hair, it kind of like bursts into flame. That's what they call it, uh, kissed by fire. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, it's magical. It's magical. People are marrying. See, that's why you gotta act fast. You have to act fast, or all the good ones will be taken. That's how they. That's how it works. That's how my life worked. God, I'm still sitting here. Hey, I got 72 denaries. Great, cool. Could you know this message appear? Oh, I have to. There she is. My wife to be. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's visit Lady Nisha, and she should at least gain one reputation point with us. Yeah, and two, two. She really likes us. See, she really likes us. The other girl was only getting like one point, and she lost like two each time we did something wrong. This girl, come on. <laughs> and I guess that's all we're gonna talk to her about. Um, quarrelsome person. Yep. Okay. Uh, quarrelsome person. He sends rivals in Bar Druid. So I find he's married to Lady Tabath. Welcoming. So they like the king. That's good. Um, your sister in law, Tabath. She's a moralist. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, she's married to Boyar. I have not heard any news about her. That's sad. I have no poetry to talk to her. In fact, that's actually bugged in Fantasy Claudria. Kind of unfortunate. Um, what about our king? He is currently here. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'll see you later. And uh, once we get her past, like, 15... Um, I don't have to go out the door. What am I doing? Uh, if we can get her relationship points past 15... That's good territory to ask her about marriage. Considering she doesn't have a father, don't have to ask the father? I think. <laughs> I actually don't know now, because if it forces me to do that. No, we should be able to elope, though. We should be able to elope. I think if you elope, though, um, there is always a negative to that, because in this world, uh, eloping can get you smacked around or banished from a kingdom. But we're not part of a kingdom currently. Oh, she won't marry us till we're part of the kingdom. Shit. I don't think she will, at least. <laughs> she joins my party. I found out you can actually take your wives into battle, though, uh, with this mod, which is kind of cool. Like, at least I think you can, right? Yeah, I think you can. I think you can. I think you can. Those are undead. That's bad. When is this guy gonna appear? Um, I know there's at least a mod I have that lets you do that. Uh, two days! Two fucking days. Was I supposed to wait, or am I supposed to actually go into the... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Okay? The game is... It's taking its sweet-ass time. This is a mighty town. Look at this. Oh my god. This isn't even the town. This is just... This is just the beginning. And I wish I had a horse. <laughs> and my axe... You can buy that exact model of Axe right there from Museum Replicas. Which is uh, pretty cool. It's funny, they call themselves Museum Replicas, but they make real weapons. So, they, the reason that they call it Museum Replicas, I think they should have changed their name years ago. They call it Museum Replicas because they take primarily historical pieces and they make replicated real-life versions of them. Battle-ready. We're talking about battle-ready stuff real things. So they're taking examples from actual history, and they're making them real. I like how there's just a hat here. Oh, it's Hattie McStanderson. Oh. Townsperson, can I, can I talk to you? Can you tell me where this merchant is? <laughs> Latest rumor. You haven't heard anything interesting. Really, with a hat like that, you know nothing. Mm, tell me about the town, boy -o. Okay, move our short little legs over in this direction here. We haven't had a good chance to look at our look at our uh, shield here. Oh yeah, 
Look at that shield. Oh, oh, he doesn't want us to see. Oh, <laughs> swivels around. Oh, a mirror polish is so nice. Look at that. That's how you fight Medusa right there. That's just, that's out of the legends. You take out that shield and you just, you, you, you face the other direction, look at her through the mirror. She can't kill you if you do that. Actually, she can. It's just she can't turn you to stone, so. <laughs> You're not supposed to see her eyes with your eyes. Very interesting, that is. I always hate when uh, movies try to mess with that. Like, oh no, just looking at her eyes, it bounces off the mirror. It's like, no, you idiot. It's supposed to be if your flesh is in line of sight of her flesh. You can't look at Medusa. Don't you understand how this works? Who are you? Please tell me you're the merchant. Can I kill you? Can I kill you? Can I kill you? Can I kill you? You're the guildmaster. You suck. I wish to buy land. Oh, that's right, I forgot. You can buy land in this. I've never done that in this mod. I really should. That's how you get money. I mean, you get money from tournaments, obviously, but when you get the money from the tournaments, then you spend... Mm. <laughs> Salted pork! <laughs> Red meat off the bone! Uh, you buy a pair... Like, a, 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 a pound of land. A pound of land? Is it? No. You buy land. You buy land. You buy pound land. You buy land, and then you set that land to doing something. I don't think I don't think we're doing this right. I think we're totally doing this wrong. We have to be totally doing this wrong. It doesn't seem right. It really doesn't. Well, I'm making sure that YouTube didn't decide to stream twice again because you know you know how this is. You know how this is. What it do? Okay, it's not screwing up. Um, I have to look this up again. Local merchant from the official wiki. He can only be found in the streets of the town. Really? 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 Merchant is poorly geared, can be murdered easily. Uh... They said wait on the Steam forums. They said to wait on the Steam forums. They said wait. You don't wait. You have to hunt for him. Wow. It was a troll. <laughs> I probably still won't be able to complete this quest because I have no idea. This is a huge town. This is a huge town. This is not fair. So I have to find the fucker in this town. Now, they have an image of what he's supposed to look like. And I say supposed to look like because I don't know. Also, this is a mod, so he could be anywhere. He could be inside of a building. Like, not inside the building. He could be wedged in terrain that is a building. And I'll never be able to grant access to him. Like, he's just going to be stuck there forever. I wouldn't even know it. He could be, in, he could be down there. I'll never know. Um, so we gotta keep an eye out. Is that you? Is that you? Is that you? Is that you? They said he might be moving around too, so. I, I think it. Ow. <laughs> we took three damage, it's not bad. Hey, you, you, sir. Sir or ma'am. Or sir. You are a man. We're not the man I'm looking for. I'm looking for a particular noodle that I need to break in half and then feed to the livestock. They said you get a better uh, reward if you kill the man. Well, okay, you get a better um, overall reward. You get a better uh, relationship score. So, we're going to totally do that. <laughs> because the whole point of doing this quest was to get a relationship score with this guy. Because I want to marry his sister. So, he can vouch for me. Since they don't actually have a father. Okay, there's guards over here. Why are there guards here? Is this the keep? I think this is the keep. I don't think we're going to find the guy around the keep, but... Never know. Stranger things have happened. I don't think we're going to find him around the keep, though. I don't believe it. He could be anywhere. I have no idea. 
Because this is modded, some things are changed. The quest is active. It says he's in this town. But I don't know. Do you know? Who are you? I'm just a townsman. Can I just kill any one of you? No. <laughs> Sorry about that. I kind of pulled out my weapon there and uh, tried to cut you in half. It's okay, though. Okay, we're learning. Together, we're learning. I don't know where this guy is. you think he'd be somewhere easy to find. Ymira, could you find this man for me? Clearly not. Oh, he might be near the entrance or some bullshit like that. Um, hold on, let me just take a look here. I just want to make sure it is this town. Nope, that's, that's not the thing I wanted, please. Uh... Local merchant at Riveton. At Riveton. This is the place. Clearly, I'm doing this the right way, I think. Doesn't help that I have to, you know, walk up this long fucking road. Let's check this area. I doubt he would be here. I doubt he would be here. But there is that potential that he will be does exist. He could be in this barn here, laughing to himself that I can never find him. Game does not hold your hand at all, so that's always fun. Hey, horse. What's a, what's a little horse like you doing in a stable like this? It's a hell of a stable. Stable like this. Need a hand? Kills horse. No, not the horse. Hmm. I would like to complete this quest. I really would. But it's looking pretty grim. <laughs> but somebody's had this exact same problem as me. And they probably resolved it. See, it's also mockery that there's a bunch of hats on inanimate objects. It's like, there he is! Let's get him, boys! Uh... Oh shit, I can break it. Awesome. I'm doing a shit ton of damage. I don't think I can actually destroy that. Despite my best efforts, <laughs> the straw man has defeated me. <laughs> There's nobody out there. See, another thing is, too, because it's modded, he could be out here somewhere. And I would never know. I don't have a horse, so I can't exactly just rush over there and find him. Kind of annoying. I hope they thought about this in Bannerlord when that... <laughs> I've been talking about this game for the past how many years? Good God. Please, just get released. I hope they thought about this. Your townswoman. Yeah. Um, and they, they should say, yeah, uh, okay, so for quests where you have to look for somebody, you can actually talk to people. Or maybe, you know, you have your allies you can send out into town and find things. Because I know you can interact with your allies more when it comes to towns. Like, I could tell you mirror there in Bannerlord. I could say, yeah, I want you to um, procure this for me at the store. And she'll actually go and run there. So I'm guessing they thought about quests like this and they said, man, that was a really shit system. Let's fix it. Hey, yeah, uh random character following me. I'd like you to go do this thing for me. And it would also fix the quest. Like, it would help the quest out. Look for suspicious looking persons. Look for merchants. Look for people. There, There is armories in here. Hey, yeah, uh, have you seen anybody? No. You have not because you're assholes and you don't talk to me. Mind your manners. Mind my manners. I'm gonna kill somebody. That's what I'm here for. It's the guildmaster. Wait, there's people over there. One of them might be the guy. One of them. One of them, please. Townsman? Please. Please. No, it's the horse merchant. <sighs> what are they talking about? Wow. Can I just kill you? <laughs> Punch the horse master out. <laughs> you can't tell me his name. <laughs> Just knock his lights out. 
There's a woman there. I think it always looks like the same guy. The, the, the thing is, though, I'm not so sure anymore. That's an armorer. That's another townsperson. Oh, I like your hat. Wow. Is there no help for this quest? Like, the wiki says I have to be in town. The players say I have to walk around town in waiting mode. Waiting mode, not like this. I have to be in waiting mode. I did the waiting mode thing. Nothing happened. I think the wiki is right. He's a potter. He's a potter! Don't tell me I have to talk to each townsperson that walks by and be like, Hey, are you, uh, you happen to be a merchant? It figures, uh, the guy didn't tell me what he would look like. No, come back. <laughs> Work in the mill. Kill the miller. Kill him. There's a loom person. He likes to make clothes. I'm not doing anything. There's no work. Take the money. I'm generous, I know. Take my hard-earned gold. That was a lot of gold that I just gave to a random stranger. Why did I do that? See, Bang can be charitable. He just he just wants his own gold, you know? He's missing his dwarven clan. And he sees this really sad man running around. Well, he's also looking for a nervous man who he's gonna murder. But, but despite the fact, <laughs> he sees it as a balancing factor. He's gonna pay this guy to help out his family. And then he's going to go find some other guy and murder him. <laughs> Remove him from existence. <laughs> I'm not sure I like this character's roleplay. <laughs> uh, I've played worse characters. Miss Sneakus takes everything. <laughs> Actually, no, he's innocent. <laughs> everything belongs to Miss Sneakus. What am I talking about? <laughs> he's, a, he's a good boy. Um, I have no idea who this guy is. I have no idea. It doesn't help that I got, like, one of the most crazy examples of a building, like, of an of a entire town, of a capital. A capital. This is like a capital. How is life here? Oh, God, you are not the person. This doesn't help either. Like, I am sh I'm live streaming this, and I'm not, there's no cutting involved. This is a live stream. So, you are getting to see firsthand... How long it would take to figure out something like this from square one? Damn loom person. Can I just kill one of these guys and say it's the guy talking shit? I killed somebody, my lord. I'm not sure who. I think he worked at a loom. <laughs> I think he worked at a loom. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. I've been everywhere in this town. I mean, I, I haven't been everywhere. There's, there's this area over here, but... Pretty sure he's not over there. Skirt, our last chance. It's our last chance. It is our last chance. Actually, what I'll also do is try to see if I can get the rev. Uh, I'll pull up a video to see if I can find Revenant online. I don't think so. I, I I think everybody in existence who's ever played this has said fuck this quest. It's like with the cattle. You can't drive cattle in this game. It's such a problem. Look at that guard over there just stretching like an asshole. <laughs> what should the merchant be in the graveyard trying to sell to the dead? <laughs> I don't understand why they won't take my money, man. Why won't they take my money? Ugh. You scared me. I know. Where the hell is this merchant? Behind this wall? Seems like the kind of place a merchant would be. Hiding. Because the player needs to get, you know, a relationship. So watch him be in like an alleyway or some bullshit area I'd never think to look. And again, this could be a modded map, so the guy could be in the ground, he could be under a building, he could be anywhere. He could be up there. There's no business being up there. That's the arena totally wouldn't be in the arena. 
Then again, you never know. Okay. Well, last uh, ditch effort to find this. Um, assassinate local merchant Reva the wiki again and this one is literally the same thing oh my God, stuff like that. local merchants poorly equipped <sighs> this it, like the wiki doesn't even help you it doesn't show you where he is it doesn't tell you shit Okay, last ditch here. It says Tail Worlds Entertainment Official Forums. Uh, that doesn't help because this person already found him. Why can't I find him? <laughs> it ends with them saying, Yeah, guys, I got him. That's it. There's literally no help for this. There's no help for this. Merchant of Town X never appears in my mod. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Wait. It says you have to. It says you have to spawn him in yourself. How? How? It doesn't tell me. Oh no. That's dumb. You have to write a script. You know what? There's uh, Control F5, which um, knocks out troops. So maybe uh, if I go into town and I just spray and pray, I'll kill him. <laughs> I guess he doesn't appear in mods. He just gave me a quest that I can't complete normally. Control F5 didn't work. I don't see anything happening. Oh, no. No, this sucks. Did you announce you were streaming? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, Ryan. Oh, oh, do you mean on, um... Oh, do you mean on, like, Discord? No. No, I did not. <laughs> Sorry. I announced on the other stream I did. Yeah. Um... Merchant, blah blah blah. Nothing really interesting is happening right now. I'm I'm trying to finish this quest, but the quest is broken, like literally broken. <sighs> Her brother's gonna hate me. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's literally telling me I can't find this merchant. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, let's wash our hands of this. Uh, we're not finding this guy, so let's, um, we don't need to, we don't actually need anything there. So, um, now that that's, you know, never going to be completed, let's see what we can get with our gold, our hard-earned gold. We'll go to the four ways in there. Um, yeah. I was looking for ways of spawning in the merchant, and that wasn't going to happen. Apparently, you're supposed to use a Python script to inject it into the module. And no one who makes the mod actually bothers to do that. Like, any mod. They don't bother. <laughs> they actually don't bother with those quests. So, you're getting a broken... Like, even if the mod adds so much content like this does, you're getting a broken experience because pretty much all the base quests are buggy in some way or another. And they're intentionally buggy because no one bothered to fix quests. They are literally broken or missing pieces. <laughs> Hence why the cow thing never works. It never did work. I've never had the cow the cow herding ever work in this game. And least of all, see it work in a mod. So when you're raiding a town, it's like, oh, you've got a bunch of cows. What am I going to do with the cows? I need you to find us cows so we can slaughter them. Good fucking luck, my lord. <laughs> Good fucking luck. <laughs> Go get those cows yourself. 
this. I sure as heck can't do it. Okay. Let's take stock of what we have here. Elithra, uh, she seems like someone I'd like to upgrade. Um, we could give her a magical weapon. She's got a really good sword, though. So I would say it's between giving her better arrows, uh, elven mail, maybe, because uh, that's really good armor, a better bow, even. Um, she has power of draw three. Then again, I mean, well, okay, so I say, like, yeah, Ymira's doing more for us than Elithra, but Elithra has less valuable gear. Like, she is still leaps and bounds behind. So I do think the elf is the best one at the moment to upgrade. Um, I don't want those. Well, this is what we have. Javelin of Plenty. I could give that to... Uh, I could totally give that. Slowly refill itself. Happens to be a bag, so you can put, say, your lunch inside. That's 22,999. We could give that to Clethy, but I think she's. I don't know. Like, she's really good. Ah, Elven Royal Plate. That is really good. <laughs> that is insanely good. Oh, that's 50,000, though. That's really expensive. And that's just one item. I'm not sure I want to spend that kind of, uh... That kind of money on that. Um, a magical bow. 9,000. I'll do it. Yep. She needs it. Um... Javelin bag. Isn't there, like, a dagger? Like, a, a special kind of dagger that you can throw? I believe so, if I remember correctly. Uh, thinking cap. What does that do again? Intelligence. Yeah, that's for wizards. Oh, that's for wizards. Mithril Mail. Dagger of Throwing. Once thrown, it returned to its master. Yes. 14,500 nares. We'll get that for Clethy. Uh, and... Maybe get something for the other character, Ymira? The question is, what do we give her, though? Gwilif, uh, it's a pretty good sword. It's a stealthy sword, though, so... Kinda wasted. Frostbrand's really strong. Um, I think we'd want to give, uh... That's dangerous. <laughs> mm, Mace of Disruption would be decent. Um... I'd rather give the flame tongue to, um, what's her face, Ymira. And the reason is the fire does more damage. It does more damage than the Frostbrand. Frostbrand's good against a particular type of enemy, I'm not even sure what. But I always, I like ice more, to be honest, but I'm going to get the fire one for Ymira. Just because. So she loses a little bit of base damage. It doesn't matter, though, because the sword burns enemies alive. So that's good. Um, let me see your equipment. Let's give you that magical bow there. That is a massive upgrade for you. We should get her arrows the next time, but I think she's good enough right then and there. Uh, 31 to that. You know, we'll take her elven warblade from her and give her the Drow Sword just because of how much damage it deals. Um, plus it's stealthy. Uh, Clethy there. You will take the Dagger of Throwing, which has 200 uses. And... The question is, what do we get rid of? <laughs> um, I guess the Throwing Axe is we... We get rid of the throwing axes on her, which are pretty good, but we'll give them to ourselves, maybe. Or, no, we don't really need to, because we got the hammer. Dagger of throwing. So that's that's going to be insanely good. Um, 30. Yeah. We'll get rid of the short sword now. Give you the elven warblade. So, they have all got some pretty decent equipment. Yeah, we don't need another throwing weapon, because we have like 199 of the dwarven throwers. 
but they're so strong. Um, yeah, it was a decent amount of gold spent in a decent way. We only have sixteen thousand <laughs> dinars now, so we gotta we gotta get money back at some point, and we can now use the Titan Mall. I am on fire here. This is awesome. Okay, we got this. Got this Mall of the Titans. I will no longer need a shield, I don't think. Well, no, we could carry the shield. It's extra weight, but yeah. We can just totally switch to. You know what? We're gonna make that our first weapon. No, no, no. We should, we should do it like this. I mean, do we even need a darker axe anymore? Well, it was Dagorax. God, I've been saying it wrong this entire time. <laughs> I guess we don't, but... It's faster than the Maul. And the Maul doesn't kill, it knocks things out, so... That's okay. Oh, God, not this again. Okay, there we go. Uh, sex quest is broken. You know what you must do? Kill the brother. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. Uh, you're supposed to be able to kill lords, but I guess it only happens if they issue a duel. And that's only under very specific circumstances. You can make someone hate you, like, just an unreal amount of hatred. And they will never issue a duel. I don't even know how to get that to happen. And even then, when you duel them, they might not actually, you know, die. They might opt out. They might, you know, drop to the ground and go unconscious. I don't know. Bannerlord is going to be a chance for... Tail worlds to really create the vision that they started out with here. Because in my in my experience with this game, having gotten into it late, yes, I know it failed because it broke. He hates me now. Oh god. Screw that. I'm gonna be screwing his sister. It's fine. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Kill me? <laughs> Bring it on. I have the Maul of the Titans. <laughs> I'll mess you up. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's like, eh. I'm gonna turn off this fog of war thing. There we go. I could leave it on. It'd be really nice, but I'm just gonna leave it off. Um, so we're in a position where we need gold. We're gonna go looting. Uh, yeah. I, I really would like to kill him now. Just, just now that the thought's there, but I don't think there's any way I can do that. And there's no cheat for it either. There is no cheat to force kill somebody. You can force them to duel you, yes. But that, again, like, I've done it, and it doesn't kill them. Even though you're supposed to be able to kill them. We gotta find some orcish towns and... Oh, wait, what's, what's the status for factions at? Uh, that's the Norak realm... Uh, we're still at war with them. There is no truce between the dwarves and orcs. There never will be. Okay. I say that. Watch there be a truce. Never mind. <laughs> there never will be. It's like, the orcs have deemed a truce between the dwarves and the orcs, and you don't get to loot them now. I've had the game do that many times. Those are bandits. Come here, you. Let me kill you. Brain needs to test out his new hammer. Charge him. Smashy, smashy. Let them come to us. Look at this. Look at this hammer. Looks simple, right? Looks very ordinary. Let me tell you something. It's gonna hurt like yeah. balls being dropped on ice. And then smashed. <laughs> Why did I... Why is that the first thing I said? Oh! 480 damage! Oh! 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 Oh, you poor bastards. I'm a monster. Come here. Come here. Come to Papa. Oh! You're gonna wish... You're gonna wish you had died in battle. Oh, my God. Oh! 121 damage. And this is why they don't let you use a horse with it. Because the reason I did 400-something damage to the horse was mostly due to its movement speed. So weapons get stronger the faster you're moving. Use your damn bow. I gave you a bow. 
Oh god, you got hit in the head. You don't look well. Use the bow! She's using the spear because they had horses. Um, but yeah, nice job throwing a spear at that wizard. <laughs> My magic versus your sharp stick! <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, it's coming! It's a coming! Crunch! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the faster you move, the more damage a weapon deals. So, that 400 some damage was a basic charge from a horse. Can you imagine the fastest horse in the game with a guy with a hammer? <laughs> uh, don't know if we want the orcs in our party. No self-respecting dwarf would hire an orc. I really can't. I know how strong they are. I don't care. Journeyman robe. Another horse. Nice. Might have to start eating the horses. What are we, orcs now? <laughs> we're not. We're not. Some okay loot. Not the greatest, but... We're gonna get better loot. I dare you to come at me. 31 soldiers. 31. You think you can fight me? <laughs> you think... 31 of your best can contend with the will of Bane's Dwarfman. Man, she looks badass with that sword. <laughs> I'll have to give another one of my soldiers the ice sword, just to, just to round things out. See, that was a that was a really good investment. That's six, uh, 66,000 gold. Like, upgrading all of them was really... What are you doing, sir? You're gonna die. No one can save you. Oh, 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 the damage. Oh, oh, the damage is filthy. <laughs> they just all get knocked out or killed right around me. Kill this guy. Kill that fool. Get him. Oh, you fool. Oh, <laughs> Take these basic bitch looters. I don't care. So I'm gonna pull out the uh, hammer. Oh. oh, you get to die for that. You also get to die for being there. Okay. Yeah, Bane is dwarfman is unbelievably strong. <laughs> I think the next thing we need to spend money on. I mean, I, I should be upgrading more of my guys, but they've got some magical items. I think I should give Bane his Dwarfman better armor. Because we've been seeing some nice armors here and there. We haven't done anything about it yet. Ooh, hit you. Shit. Ooh, nice. We're getting lucky with those throws. We are getting skill with the, the hammers, though, so... Oh! That was a headshot. Come here. Ah! Hop! Nope. I got so many shots with this thing. Just fucking stand into my hammer. Oh, nope, sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you, yay! I got him! Are you proud of me? <laughs> You're gonna die, boy! You're gonna die! Sorry about hitting you in the face, Camp Defender. I mean, it must have hurt. You don't look well. <laughs> oh, God. Five. They've been reduced to five. Five soldiers. It's not even worth, you know, my, my soldiers coming here and wasting their, their health. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. We are so tanky. We are unbelievably... We are a beast. We are a missile. A slow-moving, death-dealing missile. I think we need to upgrade our uh, agility for our stamina. Oh, shit. I could have killed at least one of them. My mistake. Oh, God, stop it. I'm so slow and stubby. Come back. We need our agility up. We totally need to get our agility up. Damn it. Damn it. They're dying, but they're not dying quickly. Uh, horse! <laughs> God. Well, nice. We'll get Manhunters, because they're helpful. Uh, 
They hunt people. That's an expensive hat. That's another expensive hat. Bodkin arrows. We will be giving those to Luther, though. She uh, needs better arrows. She currently doesn't have good ones. Uh, hey there. Let me see your equipment. We need to buy her singing arrows, though. That's an investment we'll have to spend in on 30, 28. So she gets less, but she deals more damage. So you are looking pretty decent now. You still have shitty armor, but hey, look. I can totally give you this cap that I just found. <laughs> and I guess we want to keep her with light armor to the best of our ability. Uh, just because she's an archer, she needs to be able to move quickly. She's more like a ranger now. She's got all the things she needs. We got another dwarven paragon. That's good. Um, all these towns have been looted. Well, that's an undead town. We're not. We're not fucking with the undead just yet. Yeah, those are looters. They're not worth our time. I don't want to piss them off just yet. If I can help it, the undead are scary. <laughs> they are very scary. Because they'll literally take their time. They'll go from town to town, village to village. They'll go from uh, townspeople. They'll go from guards, scouts, and troops. And they will just swell in number. And by the time they reach us, and deliberately take their time, they will destroy us. So it's better... It's better to avoid pissing them off so they don't go through that uh, rotation. We still have a very small band of troops, but again, Bane is incredibly strong. So it's not like we really have much to worry about at the moment. Also change this music. As much as I like this music, I haven't changed it in a while. So let's do Master of the Feast. There we go. Little upbeat music. Nice and upbeat. Things are looking good for this band. A long journey to go home. But, uh, we're getting there. We still can't siege the town. But holy crap, did we just get really good shit. Oh my god, a rare ingot. Fine honey. Fine tree. You know what? I think that'll pay for itself. We don't need to be greedy here. <coughs> we, oh god. Ugh. We don't have to. Uh, Swadia and Delthasem have agreed to a trade, trade agreement. Oh! We'll attack these uh, farmers, though. <laughs> Just ruthlessly attack these farmers. Why not? Right? God, hills are not our friends. Just kill them all. Yeah, I'm glad to see she's actually using the damn bow now. She was using the spear because of the uh, the horse units, but the bow does a tremendous amount of damage. You can kind of cheat the game if you have like a bunch of, uh, let's just say you have Balrogs. So you have Balrogs, they blow up entire areas, they just murder people. But then you have a bunch of hero units, I'm talking about like 10 of them, hero units, and you equip them with magic bows and singing arrows. They will be ridiculously powerful. Like, that bow does some serious punishment towards enemies. So she is worth, I would say right now, five ranged units. As we get her more and more levels, she'll gain two... Like, she'll be worth two more ranged units every level she gains. That's how strong she is. That's the way I like it. Yeah, we don't even have to lift a finger. It's not like we can lift a finger. Everyone's running around in different directions here, but... <laughs> where, where is the enemy? <laughs> hey, we already won! <laughs> That's when you know you have a good group. Oh my god. You can't take prisoners. Uh, Ale. Ugh, god. Why even bother? They're, they're villagers. We still can't take prisoners, not that I really have a use for prisoners at the moment. However, because we have the Mall of the Titans, we can guarantee knock someone out. Um, what we can do is, when we get a castle or a keep, which we will be justly rewarded with um, once we make friends with the Nordic, uh, not the Nordic, sorry, the uh, Dwarven 
lords. Um, they'll see what an awesome dwarf we are. They're like, man, your beard is really long. They will give us a keep. And those are step bandits versus... Wow, they just took all the farmers. <laughs> oh, well, not my fight. <laughs> uh, attacks peasants. Let's bandits attack more peasants. <laughs> um... So they're gonna, you know, they're gonna justly reward us because of what of an awesome dwarf we are. And uh, when we get a castle, I can knock out Balrogs, and I can literally just put them in my castle. I can hire them and then immediately put them to work, and they will not leave. I found that's a little bit of a, of a... see. That's that's what the the guy that took charge of this project should have been doing was fixing exploits. He didn't fix exploits. He changed portions of the game that were essential to the mod, but he didn't fix exploits. What the hell? <laughs> so this is an old. This is like the first revision of of this. So it's it's pretty much pristine. Um, but yeah, I can totally uh, I can totally take prisoners that would otherwise run away or be unruly and I can make them my allies forever by placing them inside of a castle. That's some pro-gamer strats right there. This music's pretty cool. I'm just gonna make sure I'm not double streaming again. I wasn't, I just wanna make sure YouTube isn't saying, you are totally double streaming, and that would be really annoying. I'm gonna have to delete that other video as a result of that. There, the, the stream will still be there, it's just, you know, I'm gonna have to undo what has been done. We must undo what has been done. Believe in the Force, and the Force will believe in you. Oh, I will come shortly. Yes. Okay. My wife-to-be wants to see me. Kind of fallen out of favor with the blonde, but I'm not really a fan of blonde, so that's just me. <laughs> hey, that's just me. That's just me. I don't know what it is. The The... Light hair doesn't look that good. I, I do like the bumblebee coloring, though. You know, if a girl has dark roots and blonde hair, I kind of like that. But I don't like the blonde, just the blonde. It's, it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's something, something to be said about hair color attraction. And I'm not sure exactly if there's a... And there is definitely a science between it. I just don't understand it. You know, myself. I didn't go to college. I don't know. Well, if you like blondes, then it must mean you have this kind of personality for these reasons. I don't know. We do have a tournament here. We do have a tournament. We should take advantage of this tournament. Because we can get more gold. More gold! She likes us. Okay. We can also, uh, use the tournament to, uh, garnish more favor with her. So let's join the tournament. Depending on how much they pay us, we'll only do one. Wow, they instantly killed my guy. Oh, you know why? They got this woman here. She's a hero. She's a hero. Ow, she's poking. She poking me, and that guy's just hacking away at my horse. She's trying to get some distance. You don't get to. Good. She's taken out. Okay, let's keep him away from that horse. He's going to take out my horse and he'll probably kill me. I won't even have a chance. I'm glad I hit him, but the, the danger's not over. Because he's going to knock me out and he's going to instantly kill me the second I fall off the horse. There we go. Thank God. Swashbuckler. Yep. <laughs> Very good with damage like that. Dun, 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 dun. So many! Ow! Stop. <laughs> nice! Thank you, green team. You're a godsend. Oh! I'd have to die already. <laughs> Could they have not recorded more like insults? That would have been great. We are yellow team. Just remember that. Red guys are not our friends. They're giving us some nice cover for their horses. Horsepower is real. Yellow team is looking like it's in very poor shape. Yellow team is deceased. 
I expected somebody to come up behind me with a lance. The blue team is here. Nice, I knocked out Acton, the pretender dwarf. Pretender dwarf to the throne. Goddamn pretender dwarf. You were faking being a dwarf the whole time. You're just a really hairy child. <laughs> yeah, you discovered my evil plan. But now, you'll never get this. Guess what? Attacks you. Stardust to the eyes! It's actually just a bag of, like, jimmies. Get them in your eyes. Oh, God. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, one of those things. Um, oh, what's the name of those? Confetti? Like, the, the sh Oh, man, I can't even think of the name now. What, what are those little tiny, like, flakes that are shiny? I, I'm stupid, apparently. I can't remember. I'm using all my brain power to figure it out. You know when you get them inside of your hair, it just never goes away? Glitter! It's glitter! No! See that? They instantly attack you. Oh, God. Who's with you? Going hero mode on me. Stop going hero mode on me. Only I get to go hero mode. See? I just did it right there. Fuck you. Fuck you. I win. I win. It's the best way to meet somebody in battle. You don't know someone... You can't fall in love with someone until you've, like, tried to murder each other. Not saying I want that. <laughs> How did you two meet? I tried to kill each other. It's fine. Oh, I'm red team. <laughs> God damn it, what is with me forgetting my teams? Bane is not a team player. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. Wow, we had a Valkyrie on our team. That's actually scary. Because uh, that means she's still around. <laughs> she probably won't be on my team! Oh. Okay, I'm yellow team. Remember, I'm yellow team. That's probably the Valkyrie right there. Ooh, I saw that lance. That could have ended me. Are you all going for me? Are you seriously all going for me? No. Just me. We have to take out the lance. If I don't anticipate his movements... He's going to get me when my back is turned, and I'm going to be very pissed off. <laughs> so we're doing really well. Yes, we're getting strong. We are vulnerable to lances, like, as much as the next person. Now, if you become a lich in this mod, liches are overpowered as shit in Arena. You don't get to fear people. However, you do have all your, like, durability bonuses. You have, like, a natural armor. So, on top of the armor you're wearing, you're incredibly strong. <laughs> like, liches are amazing. Kind of sucks, too, that you can't use the magic system in the arena. Like, wouldn't, wouldn't you totally, like, cheat in arena? <gasps> oh, I just realized he had a lance. See, that's, that's it right there. The game doesn't want me to win. Nope. No, you don't. You don't get to run away. I'll take out your horse, too. Just so he doesn't come back for me. No. <laughs> Horse is like, I remember what you did to my master. Oh, there you are. You blended in. Blended in! It's Acton! How? You did so bad! You're paying off people! Pretender! Pretender dwarf! There we go. 16,180 plus 200. Uh, it's not entirely worth sticking around for. I mean, it's good to get on my lady's good graces here. Maybe we'll hang around for that. Or, you know... I'm gonna toss this axe. I no longer need it. I no longer need it. It was a good axe. It served me well. Why would I need that axe when I can throw shit? We'll, uh, sell the stubborn horse, because, you know, it's stubborn. Get rid of that. 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 And that too. We've got some fine cheese we'll hang on to. You know, that's just a basic saddle horse. I'll hang on to that. That is too expensive for this place, but hey, we have some stuff. You know, let's, let's see here. It's 480 gold. That's quite a lot. Uh, decent stuff. Decent stuff. What's going on in the tavern? Anyone want to pick a fight with me? Umi has resurrected again. Matheld, 
Uh, she's already a really good warrior. I might hire some of these people. Yeah, Aiden. Yeah, I need a, I need a wizard. I need a wizard. Kind of feel bad about selling those wizarding things. But hey, we can give him something nice. Uh, I like Umi as well, but... These guys are thrown experts and ranged experts. And though we do need them... Uh, God, it's like everybody is in here. I think we're going to go for... Matheld here. Yeah, screw it. We'll also get Umi. Umi and Matheld will be, uh... Will be our... And Sheik, we got her for free, which was nice. Um, well, they'll be our cavalry. Oh, that's why everyone was down there, because there's nothing upstairs. And again, we're getting money from this tournament, so it's not that bad to spend a couple denaries here and there. Um, they'll be our cavalry. And we'll get the mines for that. Uh, we'll have to get some special wizarding items for, uh... What's his face? Aiden? Watch his face. His face is on fire! No! Uh, let's see. Let me see your equipment. You can ride the horse immediately. That's good. Can you wield that? No. Not yet. One of you is going to wield that. <laughs> One of you. One of you. Umi. I'm not sure what she's good at immediately. Tell me about your skills. Is she, like, basic? She's got... She's pretty intelligent. We can make her, uh... Yeah, Calvary, but she'll also have intelligence. So we have two intelligent characters, Aiden and her. She's already got a one in magic defense, so they kind of want you to go down that route. She's really good at unarmed. Crap. <laughs> Holy damn. Power strike. Uh, we're not going to make her a monk, though, because that doesn't really work out in this game unless you're already a priest, and it's still kind of shit, because they never designed the game for that. Yet they let you fight with your bare hands. I don't know why. Her riding skill is actually really good, so she is definitively great. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm thinking uh, Umi will give, like, a spear. Like, a big freaking spear. And we will... Keep Mithild with a sword and shield. Uh, yeah, I think that'll work out. I think that'll work out. We can totally do this. We're gonna try to get more money. Place a bet. And again, having a lot of heroes is good. Hell, we could even uh, give... Uh, Umi, uh, the other magic bow, too. We make a ranged, uh, cavalry. I don't know. Maybe because we have the, uh, spear. It'd be a temptation for her to get too close. No. I don't think we'll do that crazy strategy. As funny as it sounds. Acton. Oh, that's not Acton. I was gonna say, why are you on my team, Acton? Get out of here. You're a pretender dwarf. You don't deserve to wear that beard. He rips the beard off of him. That's another Lancer. Oh, yeah, he was gunning for me. Oh, he's gonna come back. He's gonna kill one of us. It's almost guaranteed. Why are you so tall? What are you, furballs? Don't be so tall. Oh! Made a big mistake, boy! Oh, he broke his neck! Broke your neck. What can I say? Don't like this guy. Gotcha. I'm clearly on the yellow team. <laughs> I'm gonna say, what team am I on? I don't know. You know it's good about this though. We're getting a lot of uh, weapon skills. This horse is almost done. That's not good. We gotta take out these lancers. We're gonna have two of them on our ass. And we have a horse that's not in a good place. Oh. Yep. Yeah, if we take out the horse, he's less of a problem for us. They're both still here. Oh! Nope. Nice, thank you. Okay, now I just gotta deal with these two fools. Oh, it's it's Potak. No! Stop! 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 That's not fair! <laughs> I say that, but I do that all the time to them. 
It's my just desserts. Stay back. Stay back, orc filth. Only dwarven filth shall suffice. Here we go. Give me those uh, uh, one-handed, not unarmed. God. <laughs> with fists. Beat a heavily armored knight with fists. Um, beat those uh, guys up there with one-handed skill. Nope. I'm going straight for you, Potak. Not a fan of you. Got ya. I knew it was you. Oh, you got the other orc for moral support. He's not as dangerous as you, but... Oh! <laughs> No! Oh, God. It's over. I gotta get hit once and I'm done. Thank you. You're awesome. He's he's looking at me. <laughs> he's looking at me. Never mind, he's going for She's going for you. Nice! Oh! <laughs> wow, I've never seen that. <laughs> All of my time playing this game... I have never seen a character go straight through the gate. <laughs> that was great. Oh, shit. Herp. Took out your horse. So sorry. Oh, wow, we're all wielding great swords. But those with the horse are greater still. Actually, you stand a better chance of killing someone who's on a horse with a greatsword while you have a greatsword and you're not on a horse. You know the reason why? They have to come to you with the horse. You can cause the horse enough to stress that it tosses its rider and potentially kills them, or at least unbalances them. You just have to stand still. Unless you pull a trick like I would do. You ride in on the horse, and you have your sheath on your sword, and you, you like Legend of Zelda that shit. You fire the sheath at the person, and you jump off the horse, and you land on them with the hilt. <laughs> yep, that almost killed Yeah, okay. Gotta pay attention. We can win this. I think this is the last fight. This is really unfair, too, for the last uh, event. Oh, it's fucking back! I mean, it's this asshole, Acton. It's Acton. It's Acton again. Pretender Dwarf. Why do you keep getting to the end of these? You're not even that good. Look at you. Look at you! The game is saying you're not a dwarf, Bane. Not a dwarf, fuck you. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to lose the pretender to the dwarven throne. Nisha, hi. Remember the tournament thing I did? Yeah, love me. Okay, she likes it. Good! Okay! Now we can head on. Uh, should I stay around for more gold? I don't know. It's not really the gold now, it's just more for her points. It speeds up the time for us. I should say it drops down the time. It, it, it makes it so she'll like us a lot more. We won't have to keep visiting her as much. But we're getting to that point where she's going to want to marry us. Okay. With... No, 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 no. I already... Yeah. Okay, we gotta win this. Not really. I save after each time. It's just be annoying to wait three seconds. Take him out. Oh, it wasn't enough. Oh. Hurry up and die already. You killed my friend. I kill you. Stab him back. Actually, more like slapping him. Uh, I want to be in a grand melee. This looks so fun. I'll marry you. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, big mistake. Oh. <laughs> I missed doing luck. That was really fun. Especially when you had, you could notably tell who was really skilled with weapons. <laughs> it was really demoralizing. Uh, and there was only a few people... That were vastly better than me. I, I was, I'm pretty, I'm still pretty damn good. A actually, I'm better than I was, but, like, there was this one guy who was a firefighter, and in his spare time, all he does is fence. So, <laughs> he's in the, he's in the game with us, and he, he would go easy on people, you know? He's got a pretty stressful job. He comes to play the games to have fun, and when things aren't going well for his character, doesn't I just realized get out of here. Why do I keep trying to call him Paxton? It's Aiden. Oh, hi. 
I don't have a shield anymore. That's bad. Oh, oh God. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna take that shield, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that arm. Um, so yeah, if things aren't going well for him, he will instantly resort to his, like, fencing training, and he would kick ass. Like, if he started seriously fencing, no one could win against him. No one. I've seen him take three people on at once. That was amazing. That was so cool. Uh. Hey there. Hit you in the back of the head. Nope. Stop it. Stop. Okay. Gotta get some distance. We don't have a weapon that's gonna be particularly useful against groups. We can do well with the horse, though. Nice job. Okay. Don't die to that horse! <laughs> don't die to that horse person, please. That'd be bad. Oh, we already won. Nice. Okay. Let's get that there. Ow! What did I do to my hand? God. I think my skin might be cracking from the dryness. That's not good. Now that I already pulled something. We are yellow team. Let's remember. We are yellow team. We are banana team. Banana dwarf! Na 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 na. Banana dwarf. Okay. Yeah, it's dry weather. Ugh. Better than uh, summer. Totally better than summer. I hate summer. Who else hates summer? Ow. Gotcha. Nice. Nice. Okay. Thousand denaries. Just you and me, bucko. No one else there. What you doing? What you doing? Oh, you're gonna be an ass. You're... Never mind. You were easy to kill. <laughs> it says unconscious. What they're not telling you is I'm slicing their throat. <laughs> wow, we have 19 renown from that. Dang. Okay. Hey, honey, I'm home. Guess what? You're gonna love me again. Hi there. Guess what happened? <laughs> It's all for you! We're at 15, that's great. Uh, we could stand to go a bit further, really could. Uh, but I think, I think, since we did that all with tournaments, we're gonna head over to the Dwarven Kingdom. We're gonna see what the Lord Dwarf has in store for us. Will he like us enough to bring us into his household? Or will he hate us? Time can only tell. I think I'm going to end this stream at 1.30. Uh, it is 1.07 right now. Uh, because we have been streaming a lot longer than YouTube is saying. Because guess what? Actually, we've been streaming even longer than YouTube is saying. Because YouTube decided to clone my first stream tonight. <laughs> so it's like, are you a time traveler? Clearly I am. Uh, we have to deal with that. Deserters, hey. We could totally destroy them if we could catch them. Um, which we're not going to be able to do. Let's visit this place and get some extra cash. How much gold did we get? Wow, 45,000. Not bad for just trying to, you know, earn the favor of a lady. But that's what happens when you're trying one thing as opposed to another. Um, got a lot of food. We actually have more food than we actually need. And we have these heavy paying items that eventually we will find a nice home for. It's been a fun night. It's been a fun night trying to trying to stream when I wasn't feeling so well earlier, but feeling you know feeling okay after taking medicine. Give me dish. Give me dish. Give me dish. Give me dish. Give me dish gold. It's like a paltry sum now compared to the stuff we've been earning in tournaments. Deserters. He's got manhunters. I would like to find a bell rock. Uh, that's a problem, though. If we if we get a bell rock in our party before uh, we have a place to drop it off, we'll actually lose morale because bell rocks are evil units, and unless you have other evil units, non-evil units don't like them very much. 
you'll lose soldiers as a result of that. It's kind of a dumb system, but it's not like I like the whole faction stuff. I don't like that you can lose evil units because of low morale because of that stuff. They should be immune to low morale. Evil units should not, especially zombies. Hell, the undead in this game, they have to eat food like everyone else. That doesn't make any sense. I think the coders kind of, they got a little uh, lazy with some of this stuff. We've already been to Tyr, I believe. We'll take a look. Yeah, we have. Oh, what about the tavern? What do we have in the tavern? We have a mountain freeman. It's not Gordon, though. Remember that. It's not Gordon. It'll never be Gordon. There doesn't appear to be a belligerent drunk. I haven't run into one yet. I'm really surprised. I just wanted to, you know, smash somebody to pieces here. It's not gonna happen. You know what? Let's see if there's a spear that we can get. A balanced battle fork. It's pretty good. A bent glaive. It's for swinging, not for stabbing. Pike cannot be used on horseback. No shit, but it's a pike. What'd you expect? Uh, there are far better... Far better pole arms we can get for uh, that uh, cavalier we have. You pound on the city gates. Who is it? Dwarf. Give me food now. We don't serve your kind here. You will suffer me. Starts crying. <laughs> oh no, what have we done? We made the dwarf cry. <laughs> no. I have to wonder if a dwarf doesn't get his way. Like, like dwarves are not... In, in all, like, mythologies, one thing is shared between dwarves. They have really, really colorful personalities when you get to know them. They generally don't resort to the worst of things. They'll be rude to people, but and they'll, they'll want to start fights, but they won't necessarily go through it all the way. They don't see it as much of a uh, as much of a, a benefit to themselves and other dwarves, because there's a sense of pride. Each dwarven family, like they say, dwarves wear their wealth, their accumulated wealth. It's, it's a social uh, ladder on their person. So if they're beating up random people because of, you know, just being dwarves, being angry, or, you know, insulting them. It's showing that their entire purpose, their family, is kind of like, I don't know, disgraceful? So dwarves may, you know, they might huff and puff a lot, but ultimately they're looking for common ground. You will get more done by having a drinking contest with a dwarf than you will, you know, arguing with it. <laughs> Really nice people. Uh, Corsair helmets. Dwarven hauberk. Makes us look a little bit thinner, but it's like immensely, immensely strong. There's better dwarven armor we could get, so we currently don't have that there. There's a nice dragon shield. There's a heavy dwarven one-handed axe. See, look how nice those are. Uh, a balanced dwarven halberd. The 63 crushing damage <laughs> oh my god that's 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 some crazy stuff that's some sorry it's not crushing that's slashing but it's got a C on it for some reason that is that is really good now that's not a kind of spear that we give to one of our um, mounted units obviously how Ever, it is the kind of spear I will be getting for another character here. You can't use it on horseback. Um, so let's think here. Uh, Yamira is probably the only person that can wield it, technically. Lethra has the spear. Let's see. Well, hold on a second. That's swing damage, 27. Okay, so 40, 27, 63, 21. That is so much better. The thing is, she can't wield it at the moment. And that is definitely something I would give her. Let's see. 
pretty big upgrade. We lose some reach, though. Um, you know what? Yumira, you're also gonna have a, a big spear, since you're... She can't even... She can't even wield that. Why do you still have a knife? <laughs> yeah, we'll give... We'll give Yumira the Dwarven Halberd, but it, she's gonna need some points before we can try that out. So, it's a decent, decent weapon, but no one can currently use it. And I don't know where the Lord of Dwarves is. He's probably not here, obviously. Um, we got a Elite Strange Mercenary. Borka. Okay. I forgot, are there goats in this version? I don't think there's goats that you can ride. That kind of sucks. Uh, dwarves have a bit of money, but probably not as much as I would like. Actually, yeah, I can get some of my cash back here. I can sell you the well-made velvet. Quite a bit. That's pretty nice. Uh, and... Yeah. I should, should recruit some troops. Why not, right? Dwarves! Yes. Got dwarves. Gonna make some merry mischief here. Murder everybody. Yeah, let's visit this town here. Dorn Bad here. We got all those dwarven champions you have. Are you shitting me? I will gladly destroy you. Oh no. They're the dwarven champions. I think I I think I read it wrong. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. We need to get up this hill. This is bad. Those are dwarven champions. I thought they had dwarven champions as prisoners. Unless they also had dwarven champions as prisons, prisoners. I read it wrong. So now I'm here to pay the piper. Um, That's a lot of them. That is an entire army very scary units. But that's really good armor. I can't even tell who's who. Oh, I can't see. Oh no, I'm stuck in my troops. I'm stuck in my horse troops. It's bad. I didn't know I had horse troops. The reason I'm killing them is in the hopes that I'll get their armor by killing them. I don't know if knocking them unconscious actually helps. Like, I don't think they would technically get shit from that. I could be wrong. God, they are killing. I mean, they're elite troops. Still not the strongest that they could be. They're pretty bad. It's nerve-wracking. Using some veterans. These veterans. Did we kill the first wave? Almost done. Banus Dwarfman's D is destroying the enemies. I'm glad I gave her that sword now, because it's lighting up the night and it's helping me out immensely. Isn't it, Yamira? Yes, it is. Okay. The dwarves that don't get knocked unconscious... <laughs> they're fine. The dwarves that don't get murdered, they're even better. <laughs> we have a few dwarves that are being put through the ringer right off the start. <laughs> okay. Horse, dead rider. Oh boy. We lost a dwarf. I mean, another dwarf got knocked out. Now let's take this uh, big ass hammer here and just. Never mind, you got him. Nice job. Way to go. Good going, lads. Who did we lose? Uh, no one that I particularly cared about, to be honest. The veteran skirmishers, uh, yeah, they were, they were decent, but, you know, screw them. I'll gladly, uh... Uh... I'll 
I'll take what I have. Better to lose those guys than our dwarven troops, right? We lost a few normal dwarves, but they were normal dwarves. They weren't anything too special. Who are you firing at? There they are. Hey there. Ah. Come closer. Even if you knock me out, my troops will murder you. Cannot resist the power of Bane's dwarfmen. The one true king of dwarves! Ow. Nice job. Nice job. You need you need you need a literal like raise. <laughs> yeah, we got standard dwarves. We can't even take any of these guys as prisoners either, so we don't even get a chance to get them. I read that wrong. Oh uh, well. I will take that many of those dwarves. That's fine. That's fine. Could make them skirmishers if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Ah, but look what we got. This is for our hard work. We got some pretty good stuff. We got another dwarven two-handed axe. Nice. I don't have to buy it. Dwarven steel warm hammer. War hammers are not particularly strong. Pole arms, even if they're bent, they're incredibly powerful. That's fine. That's fine. Who gets to be upgraded? Clethy. Let me see your skills. Let's raise your strength. God knows you need that. Uh, power draw. This character uses more power bows. You're technically not using bows this time around, so we're not going to do it. We'll do some weapon master there. Get that uh, range skill up. You are using bows. My girl, you are using bows. Do athletics since you are ranged and you need to move quickly. Slave driver, slave hunter. We also gained a level. Uh, Methel gained a level. She's been beaten on, unfortunately, but I think she'll be fine. Give you some iron flesh. And start training you in two-handed weapons. Because we definitely want you to have some sort of big-ass weapon at some point. More dwarves gain levels. Dwarven fighters. Let's do dwarven fighters. Get some nice strength there. We gained a level. Agility. We also want the athletics because we're slow as shit. Uh, and... Yeah, our skill points are looking pretty good. We're gonna need Weapon Master pretty soon. There's another town there I can visit at some point, but for now, let's go here. Let's figure out the situation. Don't particularly care for the one-handed axes or the hammers. Somebody could make use of one of those. Uh, 36 damage though, actually. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Trying to salvage as much stuff as we can for ourselves. Mail shirt is a hell of a lot better than what we were wearing. So now we got really nice armor, even if it isn't the best rank it could be. We're going to be even slower, even with the athletics, because that stuff is uh, pretty heavy. But we look like a complete badass. Um, we can give this to somebody in our stead here. Um, let's think here. My felt. Your sword does 28 to 20. This axe does 36. I think I'll be getting rid of your sword, giving you that. Yeah. You can't thrust anymore, but it won't matter. There's a shorter reach, though. Oh, actually, no, that's a long-handled axe. Reach, 94, 70. Actually, it is an insanely noticeable difference. Uh, eh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. 
I'll tell you what, tell you what, I'll leave the sword on you. You can decide if you want to switch between weapons. You're mounted, it won't hurt your speed that much. Uh Fumi. Hatchet. Probably should have given her the uh shield, considering, but you do get an upgrade though. That's 37 and 12. Much better than what you had. Nope, you can't equip that. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Why? Uh, Aiden. You're a wizard. We don't want you to have anything too crazy here. You have a gnarled staff. That's good. Novus robe. We need to get you more clothing. You're not wearing armor, though. We want you to be as full of magic might as you can possibly be. 29, 11. There we go. Yeah, we'll just exchange armor. There we go. So we're still upgrading a troop by cycling and replacing stuff. It's 23 to 6, 29, 11. Decent, decent. Okay. This is a small bonus. Could totally do something with these uh, if people were strong enough. But considering they're not, I think I'll get rid of those for now. Because it's going to take a while. Uh, we're going to keep that, of course. That's really good. These are bent, too, so... Oh, well, this one's not bent, but... <laughs> That's a pull hammer. You know what? We'll hang on to that one. We'll hang on to that one. That's... Plus 50 damage, 22. Like, that's still that's still pretty good. <laughs> that's not terrible at all. Um, a sturdy robe. Doesn't give us any magical bonuses, though. Uh, I wouldn't think the dwarves would deal in magical wares, to be honest. Mm. Gauntlets. Gauntlets could be good for somebody. I think we'll abstain for now. As we have a lot of money, we could spend that on another magical artifact if we wanted to. Um, could also buy... How much will these sell for? 10,690. That's not bad. I could give this really good dwarven shield to somebody deserving. I could, I could, I could. I really should. But I don't think I will. Not just yet. Okay. You know, I guess the dwarves went off to war, because I don't know where they are. <laughs> They're always going off to war. I was like, ah, we're not a pillage! Kill! Ah. Lord! There's no one here. Shit. No! All the dwarves are doing things, and I'd like to know where they are. There's not enough of them to really tell. That's the problem. I don't know where they are. You know what? Do I dare? Control T. Some of them are over here. Will we be able to keep up? That's the question. Probably not. I don't want to have to teleport over there. <laughs> I want to see what they're doing, because we could probably join them in their fights, getting ourselves some much-needed honor with the dwarves before we become a part of their army. Hell, if we could even join as a retainer, before we join. That's also good. But I'm hoping my renown nets me a place right off the bat. Come on! Move your little legs! You can do it! I believe in you. Uh, 
We are going to be ending here soon, though. It is 1.29. I said 1.30. Um, this has been a, a good stream, albeit a very complicated one, because once again, YouTube decided to stream twice, and I'm not sure why. So nice, he streamed twice. Not really. No. <laughs> Come here! I want to talk to you. My name is Banish Dwarfman. I want to know where your king is. Why are you going to Takrim? I want to ask you something. There's a feast. Where's Takrim Castle? Right there. Okay. All the dwarves are going into one place. All of them. So that is where we will head to when I reach re when I reach the castle. We will totally, totally end the stream there. Closing words. It is king. Let's see if he'll actually accept us into his fold. Gotta cut him off. With our wee little legs. Ah. Uh... We're moving much faster than he is. I was gonna say it'd be bullshit if a 400-something man army moves faster than a 37 man army. Given, no, don't go around the long way. Oh, you suck. You suck. No, stop. I just want to meet with the king. No, king, king, accept me in your army. <laughs> My name is Baron Dwarfman. I got service. Your fame runs before you. Perhaps it's time you saw a liege worthy of your valor. Oh, are, you, are you... Yes. A fine leader of men. Mostly women. Of men. <laughs> Baron as dwarf men. I shall be pleased to accept your sword. I'm so ready, my lord. Yes. You are the lawful ruler until I replace you. Yes. We are now... Wow, they hate us a lot. Uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you, lord. Then go give me biscuits. Okay. Yay! We are now part of his of his thing because we got our fame up before anything else. So the question is, Rangers Dwarfman, what do we own? You must have given us Dreadle. Dreadle. It's the furthest north you can possibly go on the map. I hope no one attacks it. It's so far away from any of our enemies, though. It's fine. That's cool. That's cool. I, I will not... I will not shit on that. That is... Thank you. Thank you, my lord. I don't know why they're having a feast at a castle here. This is not a town. There's no... There's nothing there. Join the feast! Join with all the dwarven women! Hello! Oh, that's right, we could have married a dwarf. They have cute faces. Damn it. Yeah, I think we should mingle, though, with the uh, the races of men, because we'll have a much wider variety of troop access and allies, thus making us stronger. If we just stay with the dwarves, we're not bringing in any new forces. Anyone who's allied to those women is also a dwarf, which means they're already here. If we ally ourselves with some of the races of men, bringing them into our family here with this kingdom, then we get new troops. In fact, if some people are super loyal to their sister, they will join us. Remember that asshole that we wanted to kill? He might join us. <laughs> You'll be forced to work for the dwarves. That, that happens. Hey, now we get a banner. Uh, what should we get? Kind of like in the bear for Bane's character, but there is also a majestic gazelle there or ram or whatever you want to call it. that's not a ram of gazelle oh, pigs though pigs oh i like the pigs i think i'm gonna go for the pigs i'm totally gonna go for the pigs i think i need to make the the i, I need to do the pork sausage army this, this has to be a thing we can do one pig if we want to mm. yeah we'll do the one pig there we go i, I did see a ram at the end there but screw it Bane has the majestic, majestic symbol of the boar. The angry boar that waits for nobody. <laughs> it waits for nobody. It smells of fear. Uh, okay. 
I don't know why it's telling me OBS is okay. Windows 10, thank you so much for being strange. And anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I am, once again, once again, very happy to have presented another live stream to you all. Thank you for watching and being here. And uh, we will continue the legacy of Bane in the near future. So have a great night. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.